An experiment using these mice is offering hope for patients with HIV. That means the mice has all the human immune cells in their body so that they can support the real AIDS virus infection in the body. What scientists from the University of Hong Kong say they've discovered is what's being called a functional cure for the HIV virus. It's an antibody that acts against all forms of HIV, a major advance as right now no vaccine exists to treat its many varieties. We will hope actually the antibody can help not only control the viruses in the body, and actually they can help to eliminate already infected cells. Though the antibody doesn't completely eliminate the virus from the body, it keeps levels low enough to be virtually undetectable. What's more, doses could be taken less often than current medications, which can require daily doses. You can do it like every three months one injection for clinical use. So this way, we can basically benefit the patient in a way, reduce the cost, and at the same time, you actually can make the drug function longer in the body. This discovery comes at a crucial time. According to UN-supported AIDS Data Hub, 850,000 people in China are infected with HIV. In China, we're facing a major epidemic uh, uh, issue. That is, uh, uh, a lot of new infections be identified among a high-risk group we call men who have sex with men. If we just give the antibody injection like every three months, among this high-risk group, and we expect to see a major preventive effect. But more testing and clinical trials lie ahead, which means another three to five years before it's available to consumers. We've also got to remember that even today there are treatments to prevent HIV that aren't being used by governments across the world. So just because a treatment becomes available uh, doesn't mean that people will get it or that it will have an impact. But the finding is encouraging, not just for HIV patients in China, but for the 36 million people around the world living with the disease. Francis Coe, CGTN.